So you want to think like a hacker? Cool. But let's get one thing straight. This isn't about wearing black hoodies or typing in green text. It's about training your brain to see the world differently. Think of it like the Matrix, but with fewer leather pants and more caffeine. Today, I'm breaking down how to build a hacker mindset. No illegal activities, no shady dark web deals, and definitely no blaming me if your router starts judging you. Step 1. Ask why. Like a toddler on caffeine, hackers reverse engineer everything. See a cool app? Don't just use it. Ask, how does it work? What's under the hood? Why does Instagram keep showing me cat videos? Is Mark Zuckerberg spying on my cat? Spoiler, yes. Pick an everyday tech thing, like a microwave. Google how it actually works. You'll either learn something awesome or fall into a Wikipedia black hole about electromagnetic waves. Either way, you win. Break stuff to see what's inside. Worst case, you'll have a cool story. I once disassembled a radio and accidentally invented a doorstop. Step 2. Embrace problem solving. Hackers don't see problems. They see puzzles. Imagine your Wi-Fi dies mid-video call. Normal person? Ugh, I'll restart it. Hacker. Is it the router? The DNS? Did my neighbor finally block me for stealing their signal? Train yourself to love the struggle. Next time your code crashes or your printer starts spewing hieroglyphics, smile and say, interesting, what's the pattern here? Bonus points if you maniacally whisper, fascinating. Like a Bond villain, think in layers. Say you want to automate a boring task. Layer 1, I'll click buttons. Layer 2, wait, can I write a script? Layer 3, what if I train an AI to do it while I nap? And, well, that's the mindset. Step 3. Creativity. Hackers are the MacGyvers of tech. They'll build a server rack out of duct tape, Legos, and sheer willpower. Creativity isn't about talent. It's about combining existing things in new ways. Grab two random objects near you. How could these work together? A coffee-powered pen? A mug that auto-drafts emails when you sip? Patent pending. Even this plant could inspire a hack. What if it tweets me when it needs water? Okay, that exists, but you could build it. After watching 17 tutorials and crying twice, worth it. Step 4. Respect ethics. Quick reality check. With great power comes, well, you know the meme. A true hacker mindset respects ethics. It's not about can I hack this, but should I? Use your powers for good, like fixing security flaws, not exploiting them. Unless you're hacking your own Wi-Fi to kick off your sibling's Netflix. That's just family bonding. Step 5. Be persistent. Hackers don't fear failure. They marry it. Think of every error message as a love letter from your computer. Train your brain to see failure as feedback. Next time your app crashes, yell, plot twist, and treat it like a mystery novel. Chapter 12. Why did the server explode? Well, of course, you forgot a semicolon. Keep a failure log. Write down what broke, how you fixed it, and a sarcastic motivational quote. Mine says, Today I learned that Cotterell plus Z is my only true friend. Step 6. Adaptability. Tech changes faster than my grandma's Wi-Fi password. Hackers thrive because they adapt. One day you're coding in Python, the next you're wrestling with blockchain, and by Friday you're teaching your smart fridge to tweet. Learn one new tool a month. Not sure where to start? Pick something absurd. Siri, how do I program a toaster to play Despacito? Google it. Fall down the rabbit hole. Emerge with powers? When stuck, ask, what would MacGyver do? Duct tape. Always duct tape. Step 7. Collaboration. Hackers aren't lone wolves. They're wolf packs. Even Batman needs Alfred. Join forums, GitHub, or a Discord group where people argue about tabs versus spaces. I once fixed a bug thanks to a 3 a.m. Reddit thread. Shout out to that guy. You're my hero. Teach someone a tech skill this week even if it's just your dog how to speak in binary. Woof equals 0101, probably. Step 8. Resourcefulness. Hackers make magic from scraps. Got a Raspberry Pi, a paperclip, and a dream? You've got a home security system. Limit yourself. Build something using only free tools or stuff in your junk drawer. Behold, my DIY Alexa. She only says, I can't connect to Wi-Fi, but hey, it's art. Scour YouTube for five hacks. You'll find genius ideas or a guy trying to mine Bitcoin with a potato. Both are educational. Step nine, follow the trust no one rule. A hacker mindset means thinking like both the burglar and the locksmith. Always ask, how could this break? How do I protect it? Audit your own passwords. If yours is password one, two, three, I'm legally obligated to roast you. Use a password manager. Even your cat's name isn't safe because Mr. Whiskers deserves privacy. Set up two-factor authentication. Yes, it's annoying. 
Step 10. Mindset Maintenance Even hackers need to unplug. Burnout turns you into a zombie who forgets how to use Control plus C. Schedule stupid hack time. Spend an hour building something pointless but fun. I made a website that only plays elevator music. It has three visitors, me, my mom, and a confused pigeon. 